Hi again. <coughs> it's time for another recap video. Let's start straight off. We got through Catacombs 3D uh, on Monday. That wasn't a very long game, so we started it on Thursday and we finished it on Monday. Uh, in about, yeah, it was about four hours total because it's an FPS game from 93. <laughs> it's, a, it's a short game and it's pretty fun. I, I liked it as a bit of a stress relief game because it's uh, really easy to just spam, spam the button con constantly and murder everything, didn't have to worry about too many things and it was a fast game to beat, so that's a game out of the backlog. Uh, then we started, we got to start the same day Asterix, which my friend has been bugging me to play every now and then for quite a while already. Uh, that wasn't a long game either, I think we played that uh, Monday, yeah we got through that on Wednesday. We started on Monday, got an hour and a half in. Uh, Tuesday's guess was pretty bad, I was in a bad mood for some reason. But we still made some progress on that day as well. And uh, people in the chat were at least very helpful. Although on that day I was, just, I, I was mentally ready to take take uh, take in what they were saying. So <clears throat> I could have gotten a lot more progress there otherwise. But we did get through it on Wednesday then. The only really hard thing that stayed <laughs> stayed a hard thing for me was a mini mini game called Throw the Roman, which is basically like um, a hammer throw. You just swing the Roman around with Obelix and you throw him onto the field, but for some reason it's, it's got a really small window of opportunity for throwing the guy onto the field without going out of bounds. And I just couldn't get it right ever. ever. I did get through them eventually, but it was always almost more, more luck than, than skill every single time. But that was nonetheless, we got through that game. On Thursday we got to start Apes Exodus. We played two Apes Odyssey before. And Exodus seems to be, frankly, even more fun. It starts out with some really cool writing at least, so it seems to have more mechanics to it. It seems to be working really nicely. Nice so what it's got like different kinds of uh, emotions on the on the little motorcons that you gotta save. Like some of them are blind, their eyes have been shown shut like everyone's mouths were, mouths were shown, shown shut in the first one. Some are under the effects of like happy gas or something, so some are angry and whatnot, so some of them you have to tell tell them you're sorry before you try to lead them around or they will get people murdered. And some of them you will have to slap about to get them to their senses. That's pretty cool. We'll see, I'll, I'm excited to play that again tomorrow. And finally on the weekend we got... Since we've gotten through the Final Fantasy XIV's uh, story mode and everything, we got quite a good, quite a good progress on gearing up this this weekend. First it was a bit slow because we had to go through the etherochemical thing that doesn't actually drop any loot. But we had to go through that a couple of times, three times I think, to get get enough stuff to buy a hundred item level 170 gear to get our minimum uh, average item level up to up to high enough level to get get the next two dungeons. Once we got to those, now it's gone. It's gone up by a lot of levels after that. Now, I think I'm in 161 now, when I was 142 when I started. So that's been going really well. And uh, I did, I'm finally getting back, back to Blood Bowl as well. I got a couple of caves down, down today. I tried the Bredonians, didn't do very well. Didn't do very well with them, but they seem interesting. They seem interesting. I might, I might want to continue trying to practice with them, or maybe I'll play high ups next time, but we'll see. Alright, so that's pretty much everything for this week. Come back around the stream to see what's going on next week. Bye.